Good morning, my friends. I hope that you're having a great day, morning, evening, whenever you're watching this. I just heard an owl. Anyway, good morning. Uh, today is Sunday, May the 5th, 2024, and I'm back with Robert Henderson's 365 Prayers and Activations for Entering the Courts of Heaven. I do hope your prayer life is doing well, and I hope this is helpful to you. All the sweet birds. Uh, thank you, Lord. So, the topic today is called Discerning How We Are Made. And Robert quotes just a couple of scriptures. The one that he spells out completely is from Psalm 139, 13 through 14. And it reads as this. For you formed my inward parts. You covered me in my mother's womb. I will praise you, for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Marvelous are your works, and that my soul knows very well. Again, Psalm 139, 13 to 14. Oh, I love that. So this is what Robert has to say about discerning how we are made. David declared that he was fearfully and wonderfully made. We are a triune made in the image and likeness of God. That just blows my mind. We are spirit, we are soul, and we are body. 1 Thessalonians 5 and 23 reference there. Even though we are made in three separate dimensions, they overlap and they are connected. If there is trouble in one dimension of our being, it can manifest in another. For instance, a wounded and bitter soul can cause problems physically. Oh, don't we know that so well? Proverbs 14.30 declares that even can it can decay the bones. This is a prime example of how the spiritual, the soulish, and the emotional makeup of our beings can have effects in the physical realm. Therefore, many times the problems of sickness, depression, mental illness, and other maladies can be traced to a trauma or other emotional consequences. This is because we are fearfully and wonderfully made. We can be a complicated entity that takes the revelation of the Holy Spirit to reach into the innermost places of our heart and to bring healing. This is where the spirit of understanding is able to piece together the fractured places of our hearts, emotions, and feelings. The Holy Spirit is the one, capital O, who reaches the deepest places of our being and heals the wounded places. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. This is Robert's prayer today. Lord, as I stand before your courts, I surrender my being before you. I thank you that I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Through the spirit of understanding, unveil any place of brokenness in me and make me whole in this place. Let every affected place now be made well through the power of your spirit. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. And thank you for the birds, Lord. Oh, Lord, thank you that we are fearfully and wonderfully made, God. Thank you, Holy Spirit, that you are with us. You're a comforter. You heal us, God, in, in our hearts and our places, Holy Spirit. You heal us. You heal us. You put those broken pieces back together. Search our hearts today for anything broken. Search our hearts for anything broken, Lord. And put it back together. 
and just help us today, Lord, just walk in the awesome fear and reverence of who you are and that we are made in your image. Even when those fiery darts come at us, that they'll just go by the wayside. That they will not touch. And thank you that the weapons of our warfare are not physical, but they're spiritual. We ask for your assistance today, Holy Spirit, in defending ourselves in those places. To keep our hearts from being broken and to mend our hearts. Thank you for this day. Use it. Use us, each and every one, for your purposes and our destiny. It's written in your book of heaven, Lord. Show us any places we need to repent today of anything that we have done, thought, said, that may give Satan a legal right in the courts of heaven for our prayers not to be answered. Bring to our minds, our spirits, anything in the generations, God, that we need to repent of on behalf of the generations before us for the same thing, Lord. We thank you for this beautiful day. We thank you again for the birds, Lord. We thank you for your love and your gentle kindness and your forgiveness of everything, God. Help us to be forgivers, Lord. As your word says that we must forgive. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And thank you, Lord, for that scripture. Thank you for that prayer, Lord. Thank you for you. We love you. In Jesus' name, amen. Oh, sorry, I got the camera off. I was busy praying. That doesn't really matter. Having my face in the view just certainly, certainly does not matter. So uh, be blessed today. And uh, bless those around you. Let, you, let God's love just pour, overflow, fill you up, overflow, and pour out to people around you. They need it. They need his love. And I love you, but do you know, he just loves you more. And if you need a church today, Capital City Church, 9 o'clock and 11, 862 Blendstown Street, I'm headed there now. God bless you, every single one.